on your face when you're moving from place to place. Good morning and welcome back to Youth Wednesdays on Tobago Updates Morning Show. This is Tobago Updates Television. And yes, you bring us live here. And we want to continue the conversation around youth, but yes, youth in representation, youth ambassadors. And this morning, to have this discussion with me, we have none other than Miss Anne-Marie Degazon from the, out of the Division of Youth Development, the Division of Community Development, Youth Development and Sport. Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm great, It's actually. a pleasure to have you here to have the discussion. Mm -hmm. um, so just quickly tell us, as we delve into this, this morning's discourse, just a bit about yourself and what do you do at the division? Okay, well, I am the Youth Development Director, Anne-Marie de Gazo. I have worked in youth development for most of my life. Right. <laughs> and I can say that is probably well over 30 years. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so that um, I enjoy working in this sector thoroughly. Currently, I serve as the director of the department and have been maybe for the last three or so years. Um, so my work entails uh, a lot of administrative things. It's right. not a lot of the fun part of youth work, as you would think, because right. I'm not so much in the field and interacting with the young persons. But a lot of it is ensuring that those things happen. Right. Um, I, I want to ask you about the, the, about the CARICOM Youth Ambassador. Just tell us about that and how, you know, why is it relevant? Um, well, I think most people would know CARICOM. I right. know CARICOM heads of government. And for many, many years, the CARICOM heads of government has been um, functioning um, in terms of managing regional affairs. Currently, though, um, the CARICOM Youth Ambassador Program is one of the initiatives of the CARICOM heads of government that have sought to involve young persons at that highest level of leadership, allowing them to bridge some of the gaps. In fact, they serve a dual role at CARICOM um, in terms of one, sharing the issues of young persons at that level of governance, but also they serve um, bringing information from CARICOM to the young persons of Trinidad and Tobago. All right, all right. I want to thank you for that. And um, guys, I just want to um, introduce at this time Miss Alicia Bethel, um, on another representative, well, Youth um, Placement Officer 2, um, also to join this discourse this morning. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I hope you're hearing me. Hello, good morning. Are you hearing me? Yes, I am hearing you now. Are you hearing me? Yes, I am. All <laughs> right. So, um, Miss Alicia Bethel, um, just, just tell us a bit about yourself and what do you do? Hi, good morning. I am employed at the Ministry of Youth Development and National Service. I am a youth placement officer at the ministry. And as Ms. Gazo said, um, I am no longer in the field. It's more administrative work. So we um, plan programs, we execute programs um, at the ministry level. All right, mm -hmm. all right. And, um, you know, the, the CARICOM ambassador seems, well, it's, it's a culmination of all the, Car well, all the Caribbean um, territories, all the Caribbean countries, um, and just on a youth perspective. What are some of the, the, um, the initiatives or the mandates of the CARICOM um, the, this, this CARICOM Youth Ambassador um, program and initiative? Well, I would probably, let me take this one, Miss Miss Bethel, because I think it falls within my area. Um, normally, a CARICOM Youth Ambassador is a, is a young person who is willing to volunteer their service. I want to start that off. So right. it's a voluntary kind of a position on a regional stage that represents the voices and ideas of young people. That's what it is. Right. Um, it, it has some level of advocacy built into that, but the youth ambassador is required to formulate local programs and activity, whichever territory they serve in. In this case, we will have um, a Tobago youth ambassador. We have a Trinidad youth ambassador. We have 
two Trinidad and Tobago youth ambassadors that will be selected. So their responsibility is to formulate programs and activities on the local level, establish networks and relationships with the Department of Youth Development, and they will do so with the ministry in Trinidad as well. And they will also engage other youth organizations and stakeholders. They also engage in effective programs with the assistance and you know monitoring of these of, of both the divisions of youth and the other implementing partners. So so they are young persons who should be able to operate virtually independent in terms of coming up with their own ideas, how they can communicate the objectives of CARICOM and make young persons more aware of the role and the services and the functioning of CARICOM in their local area. That's, that's really good. Yeah. That's really good. Um, Miss, Miss Alicia, um, what importance do you see, well, uh, especially as it, as it relates to the impact of having um, representatives, uh, whether it be Trinidad and, or Tobago, um, in, in representing um, the nation uh, in, in, this, in this regard? Well, it is pertinent that Trinidad and Tobago have a representative at CARICOM Youth Ambassadors for two major reasons. Firstly, Trinbogonian youth, we all have a say, and this can only be achieved through representation from youth for the youth. And secondly, the program provides these young persons with opportunities that affect change on a regional scale. All right. And, um, you know, what are some, what are, in your experience, what are some of the, the programs and, and initiatives, you know, coming out from this thing that, that one can expect should they be successful of, of, as be, uh, of being a, a youth ambassador? Well, what is expected, as indicated by former CARICOM youth ambassadors, is that they especially noted the value of the networking opportunities they received from communicating with other CARICOM Youth Ambassadors within the program, not only regionally, but internationally as well. And these experience gained um, would have able to help them better elevate the um, all, all the ideas and stuff that the youth of Trinidad and Tobago may have. Mm -hmm. They all developmental programs. All right, all right. Thank you for that. I, I, I think this question goes to the two of you, but I, I would ask you, you first, Miss um, Degazo. Um, I, do, are you seeing that the youth in the Tobago space? Um, are you seeing adequate representation, especially when it comes to these, um, these um, initiatives? I should say. Well, in the case of the CARICOM Youth Ambassador, I would say ideally, no, right now. That's the reason we're here again this mm. morning, because there was an application process that went out. And we felt that it was important enough to extend the application process so that the deadline is now the 7th of August. And we are encouraging young persons to present themselves. Our last CARICOM Youth Ambassador served with dignity and pride and i'm sure he will not mind me calling his name this morning mr keegan denoon mm -hmm. and he is now the outgoing caricom ambassador and was very involved within the sector in terms of uh, um, working with the youth council and other organizations to develop initiatives and support initiatives even broader than what the scope of the CARICOM Youth Ambassador is recognizing the need um, to ensure that young people have a voice and that is what is one of the things that is critical the role of the CARICOM Youth Ambassador yes. so we would really like to see more young persons presenting themselves they can register um, at www.mydns.gov.tt. Simply click on the CARICOM Youth Ambassador um, flyer that is there and they can register. The form will require them to describe their community involvement because one of the requirements of being an ambassador is that you must be involved in a youth group or a youth organization. And so we want to say that critically here, the goal is to provide young persons, both in Trinidad and Tobago, with the representation, you know, that they can have the representation that they bring. 
right. and the voice of young persons being heard at at these levels all right all right um so so the, the same question goes to you uh, miss alicia um do you are you seeing sufficient or adequate representation um especially from the trinidad perspective where are you still interested in representation on this level is the question yes i believe so um at trinidad level we would have advertised and we have approximately 55 young persons who have shown mm -hmm. their um and as Ms. Um, DeGazzo indicated, the last CARICOM youth ambassador that we would have also had from Trinidad, Ms. Renee Atwell, she would have done extensive work. And um, I believe that it is an opportunity for young persons to have their voice heard, for them to network with others. So um, yes, we are having a good response to the program. Um, I would also like to say that because of our responses that we would have had here in Trinidad, um, the the extension is only applied to the applicants. All right. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. Um, thank you so much, guys. Unfortunately, I have to conclude this segment of the of the um, of this interview. Um, we have the second part um, coming up with uh, Brother Luke Trim. He will take you uh, you guys on in a bit. But before we go, we want to ask the viewers to remember to share the live, share the live, share the live. We'll be right back with Luke Trim.